Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. We've just had official confirmation of the shiny Rayquaza Terror Raid event that will be coming to Scarlet and Violet later this year. We're going to cover all of the details in today's video, as well as seven other mass outbreak and Terror Raid events that will be taking place in the lead up to this event going live for that Rayquaza. Now, courtesy of Cerebi over on X, we have had the information just confirmed now, officially confirmed that it will be coming. We kind of knew it was coming anyway, but details have been released for the five-star Terror Raid battle against Shiny Rayquaza. In addition to that, new details for Raid and Mass Outbreak events leading up to this event have been released, including a Shiny Boosted Outbreak. So we'll get into all the details because like I say, there is seven other events including mass outbreaks and terror raids in the run-up to this shiny Rayquaza terror raid event that will be happening but the big news first of course the big thing is we are going to be able to catch this shiny Rayquaza now I for me personally I was worried about us going into the raid and not being able to catch it and maybe having to do a number of raids to get the gift at a later date or just not being able to catch it at all we don't have to worry about that one little bit we are going to be able to take part in this event and get ourselves a shiny Rayquaza from these raids. The other thing is it is a five-star terror raid, not a seven-star terror raid. So it's going to be much easier to deal with, a lot easier to take down, and it makes it a lot more farmable as well, especially if we have Herba Mystica as item drops for this raid. But of course, this event isn't happening for a little while. It's starting on the 20th of December, and it will run through until the 5th of January. So a good few weeks where we're going to be able to take advantage of this event Make sure that we do get it in our games while we've got the opportunity and there will not only be just a terror raid event for the shiny Rayquaza running at the same time but there will be a mass outbreak event as well running at the same time for the same period of time from the 20th of December through to the 5th of January and that'll feature Satodal outbreaks in Paldea, Carbink in Kitakami and Fracture in the Blueberry Academy and they'll all have their shiny chances boosted in these raids so it's going to be a great chance to go out and get shiny variants of these pokemon if you haven't already got them and just a really good excuse to go out into these different outbreaks and get these shiny pokemon very easily in your game really great event when it's running over christmas but of course we've got a little bit of time until that event goes live but we have plenty of action and events coming up in the interim from that seven star Torterra terror raid event that's happening in game now i think it ends on the 24th of november after that of course we're going to have a little bit of a gap but we have plenty of events in place to run up to that Rayquaza, starting on the 29th of november and running through until 5th of december we're going to see terror raid events for corvanite and belly bolt coming to paldea these will be five star terror raids for those two pokemon and alongside that we're going to get mass outbreaks as well and the mass outbreak running from the 29th of november until the 5th of december will feature tinker tink and it will be only in paldea but it will have the increased chance of having the ferocious mark so no increased chances of shinies for this outbreak standard shiny rates as normal but they will have the ferocious mark increased chances in this outbreak for tinker tink that'll be running alongside the terror raids for Corviknight and belly bolt after the 5th of december the next one's going to start on the 6th of december and run through until the 12th of december this terror raid will be for five star terror raids featuring azumarill and clod sire and again this will be then combined with a mass outbreak but this time not in paldea it will be in kitakami and featuring Wooper, which will have the higher chances of getting the absent minded mark so that is going to be the second event running after the torterra raids and then the third one kicking off on the 13th of december and running through to the 19th it's going to be five star terror raids featuring annihilate and then king gambit and also a mass outbreak event for giraffe rig which will be featured in the blueberry academy running from the 13th until the 19th and it will have higher chances of getting the intellectual mark with that one. And additionally to all of these events running from the 29th of November, running all the way through until the 5th of December, going to have increased chances of chancy outbreaks appearing in Paldea, which are going to offer you the chance of a lot more experience as described here in Cerebi's post. So lots of events coming. The nice things that we've got are the confirmation, of course, about that shiny Rayquaza Terror Raid. One off, it is a five star Terror Raid. It's going to be a lot easier. I know for me, I would have liked the challenge of a seven star Rayquaza Terror Raid, but the five star is fine because I think it means that if there are higher cost items, we're going to be able to farm it. The big thing is we can catch it in our games. You can get this shiny Rayquaza in whatever Pokeball that we want. 
huge news and lots of exciting events happening, especially after we finished those seven star terror raid battles for all of the starter Pokemon now. It looks like they are ending and we're going into a new kind of section of events. And to end it off before Christmas, before the new year, we're going to get that shiny Rayquaza coming. Of course, when these events do come to game, We'll do updates on the channel, make sure that we've got all the details so you're aware of them. All the item drops that are with those. And of course, alongside that, we'll do the best build as and when these events come up. Because there will be some tricky ones in there, especially I think the Annihilate and the King Gambit raids. Probably be a bit tricky, although they're not going to be too taxing because they're not a 7-star terror raid. They're not Mightiest Mark Pokemon, unfortunately. But they might be a little bit trickier than usual raids. And of course, we've got the Mass Outbreaks. Going to have those increased mark chances as well. And as the events come out, we'll do little reminders so you don't miss them as and when they do drop in game. But that is the latest update. Big news drop that we've got today with a lot of events all at once. Very exciting. Let me know down in the comment section below which ones you'll be taking part in, which ones you're looking most forward to. Although counterintuitive because I'm guessing the one that everyone's looking forward to more than the others is going to be that shiny Rayquaza Terrorate event. But let me know what ball you're going to catch it in. That's what I'm thinking. And I'm still in a quandary about what ball I'm going to get this shiny Rayquaza in as well. We get in a Beast Ball, Premier Ball, Luxury Ball. There is so many options, but plenty of time to think about that and plenty of events to take part in in the lead up to that dropping. That's everything for today, friends. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great one and I will catch you all in another video very soon. So until then, take care and bye bye.